halfway through this first mail-in tournament here on Races and Fun, and I gotta say, it's gone wonderfully. I know for some vehicles out there, it did not go so well, and that's just kind of how it goes down. Only one can win from each video, but we've seen some excellent racing from one, some wonderful acrobatics and some really interesting maneuvers out there on the track. Two individual sweeps so far, two very close to that title, and we have our next set of eight here. Let me remind you as we get going here in the first one that uh, the eight cars that verse each other are, are eight in order. As you can see, this is 73 through, uh, I believe, all the way through 80 or 81, whatever the number is. And it's always in order like that based on the submission number. Sometimes... Uh, as far as which groups appear on Races and Fun and which groups appear on Diecast Racing TV, that's a little randomized. Um, so you might see 73 through 81 here and then all the way up to 100, the next one's like 100 to 108 or whatever. Um, here, oh, here comes Terrio Racing here and Micah. Pretty close, here comes Micah! Oh, I thought that <laughs> Terry almost stopped there and I was, I was freaked out for a moment, but uh, uh, it kind of sorts itself out. I see there the Arlo logo and I'm reminded to never pronounce that name wrong again. It's not RLO, it is Arlo. I apologize and I will be sure to follow through on that in the future. Good job Terrier Racing. So it is randomized but it always is eight numbers in order as far as the actual eight cars that will verse for anyone who's confused or wondering about that fairness and eight videos will end up on Backcast Racing TV and of course eight here on Races and Fun. This, along with this, I want to remind you, join the Discord if you haven't already. We are considering some new ideas, and we might need your help over there, and that's a great place to interact with fans and everything. Here comes Micah around the far side there with a big lead this time. I don't see anything from Terry down towards the final straight. Micah bounds off the wall, big lead, and he's going to pick up... Wow, slow down as well. Here comes Terry, but uh, he's going to pick up five. Jeremiah may not be with us for this weekend or Tuesday, but he will be back as well. I want to throw that out there. Um, and here, uh, here's Kerry Wilson stopped there on the track. As he is, I believe, away on vacation. Something of the sorts. But he will be around soon, I believe. I think that's all the housekeeping information I can think of here as we, as we make our way through this first round. Two races in. And let's get a sense of a races here. Micah has been fast. He was fast in the first, uh, in the second heat. Terrio Racing was a little faster in the first one. Now this time, Rob B getting out to an early lead, but loses it all on the hairpin. I think that's what's happened almost every time for him too. Um, just struggles on the hairpins. It, it seems like the pickup trucks not good for those sharper turns. Um, I think that's been the detriment here. Here comes Micah, near side, few lengths up again. Will there be a, that speed loss again later on in this back straight? They're pretty close. Here comes Terry, near side. He's got room to run, but they both slow down. Two lengths between them. And Kerry and Rob B follow in short order. Still spots left in the, the Mario Kart mail-in tournament. That's the other thing I wanted to say. Listen once again, still spots left in that mail-in tournament, about 20 races and fun Facebook. If you want to submit, please be going over there and offering um, up your Mario Kart racing model cars if you so desire. I recommend it, especially if you didn't perform as desired in this tournament. There's another chance, especially since you can submit two cars. It gives you a lot of chance to at least make it to some of the distance. So I can encourage you to go there once more. That being said, now all the think the housekeeping is done here. Mike on the near side, up a few lengths. Here comes Cario Racing, trying to pull it back in and pick up another win if he can. Near side, trying to tie with Mike, it would be, and it's just too much of a distance, and Micah's going to hold out. Here comes Kerry, Rob B, with a nudge at the end. And we have our two advancing cars, Micah being our best so far, even though Terry came out winner in the first one. Let's keep looking forward towards the next heat here. Terry and Micah, we'll see him again. I think Terry has potential. 
in the uh, the finals. It's just going to depend on the speed out of the gate. Heat one. Next set of four, 77 through 80. Ryan McLaughlin. McLaughlin? McLaughlin? Um, C. Deuce Riley. Joshua Thompson and John Cladis. Cladis. Oh, I know I'm going to get that wrong. Um, we have an odd vehicle here. I don't really know what to make of the John Cladis. Cladis? Um, on the, on the far side here, but it's, it's really, it's really holding quite the speed. I mean, look at that thing. It looks like it's out of space. Big wheels in the back. Oh my god, he spins at the end and he almost loses the race! Joshua Thompson runs across with another weird looking vehicle. And somehow, I, I think the John Cladis, Cladis, won here. Maybe not. He might have lost out on five points. Who do we give it to? We do not give it to the Thompson. Looks like that thing was built out of Legos or something. I mean, that's... The Deuce Riley, also an odd-looking car, though. We've seen that model before. The, the, the most standard-looking car here is the Ryan. The Ryan. Um, I'm not even going to try the, the last name. You're just going to have to bear with me. The Ford. And, uh, uh... Well, he's kind of bringing up the rear here. John on the near side. On the far side, the Thompson. Down the hill they go. Thompson holding more speed this time. He might have some length in the back stretch. John trying to hold on here, and Thompson is just too fast. He's going to have camera to himself. Slows down again. We're losing. Wow. Okay, well, John is pushed across evenly by the two lagging vehicles, of which I think Cedus Riley finished it about a half a nose ahead. Look at that. See, they're pushing across, but Deuce Riley pushes a little bit more, and we'll get two points there. Um, John with three. And I'm, I'm just trying to get a sense here of the kind of vehicles we have here. The, I, I've never seen these two models that are now both here on the near side against each other. I mean, one really does. It, like, it looks like it's made out of Legos or something. And the other one just looks like it, 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 it spends its time dodging asteroids, you know, up by Neptune. I mean, it's just it's just the look of it. John Cladis. Cladis sounds more spacey, so we we'll call it that. He just loses all the speed. He's spaced out right there on the track. Here comes the Thompson. What about the Deuce Riley? Back in the game here. Chance for a five. They slow down at the end like usual, but it is the Deuce Riley absolutely back in this one. Cladis only with one point. And now there is an open door. Ryan will pick up two there, but I think it's it's getting to be out of the question here. Thompson, 3-5-3. Three, three. That's 11. Cladis, 5-3-1. That's going to be 9. Let's see. The Deuce Riley, I believe, 5-2-2 two, two also indeed makes 9. Deuce Riley, take a look at him on the near side. Chance to beat out Cladis. Even beat out Thompson with a good race here. Don't count him out quite yet. Might be a comeback opportunity. Started slow and sped up. Here's the Deuce Riley near side. Up by a nose. Loses the nose. Loses is the length but has inside hairpin he's up by a length again Cladis is way behind in last place Ryan in front of him as well Thompson here down by a length to the back straight he's pushed forward the deuce Riley big length lead and the Riley comes back with two fives and a big on his head swap the Cladis finishing backwards and well that's now the direction he needs to start going straight back home as he spaced out too early That was a little harsh. Sorry, sorry, John. <laughs> uh, but uh, it was it was <laughs> it was quite a race. It really it really flipped itself on his head. I was impressed by the Deuce Riley, who's now got a good shot here in the finals. Terrio Racing and Micah from the first one. Riley Thompson from the second one. Here we go. Into the finals, one will advance, who will it be? Micah fast for a second but loses out that lead. Now it's the Thompson in his Lego looking vehicle. Far side, big, oh, he has the inside the hairpin here. That's why it's been so easy for him. Thompson here, another inside turn, down towards the finish line. He goes, hits off the wall, big run to the finish, and that will give him five. Here comes Micah for three, then Terry. And, well, 
unfortunately for the Deuce Riley, another bad start. But again, we saw him make up ground. And if the Thompson is that dominant here in the first race, we know the Deuce Riley can beat the Thompson and did so twice. Uh, any car is still in this. And Micah was fast and close. Terry not far behind either. This could be a good one. Near side the Thompson. Far side the Deuce Riley. In the middle there, the two from the first heat. The first group, sorry. Let's see the Deuce Riley. Ooh, wow, super fast out of that first turn. Now he's going to be a threat position here. Near side, not looking good for the Thompson. Far side, Riley looking good. Here comes another turn up by a length. He's trying to hold that lead down the hill. He starts to accelerate. You can see the speed coming out. Terry holding length with him even though he's on the outside line. Thompson trying to stay in there as well. He's got speed. The Terry on the far side finds the gap and passes him. The Thompson nose block and Micah is stopped short of the finish line. I don't even think the Thompson made it across. He might for just touching the line, but none of the car got over it. The Terry gets across on the far side, a wild race, and I think two cars are gonna come. Oh, they did give it to the Thompson. He got some of the car over the beginning of the line, and I think that's enough. So the Thompson lucks out by a fraction with two points. Terry on the far side there. He now holds seven with a win. A wonderful pass there on the back straight. Deuce Riley's got to up his skills. He's got to stay sharp there in the back straight, even when he has the lead. He lost out there because he wasn't focused on lines. There was no zigging and zagging for him. No defensive driving. Deuce Riley with a chance once again. Inside line. He's out on a lead. Micah takes it back, though. Terry zigging and zagging. Keeps the Deuce Riley behind. He's back to last place, and Micah comes across in first. Thompson stuck in there with only two points again. Micah now shifting the points back towards his favor, and it might be an interesting finals. Terry there with 10 points. Thompson there with nine. And uh, I, I didn't get a look at the other two. We will right here as we get started on Heat 4. This could be big. Micah with eight. There's a chance. There's a chance for any of them except for the Deuce Riley, who unfortunately picked up another one. Well, I, eh, well technically DNF, and he gets first, but... It's very unlikely. Micah has a chance. He's back in it. Here comes a Terry, who's only up on him two points. A Micah win, which shifted back in his direction. Same with a Thompson win. Any of these three cars in it. I don't see the Deuce Riley anywhere. He's out. Here comes Micah. Oh, no. He's behind. The Thompson tries to push past, but loses control on the Terry. It will be the Terry. He'll come across. And he started shaky, barely advanced, and comes across here in first once again. Points-wise, he was the most skilled car out there on the track today. And he will advance, clearly, to that next round. What a way to finish. I did not expect it. I would have expected the Thompson, the Michael, more likely. But anything can happen here on the track. Congratulations to the Terry. You'll be heading to the finals with these four other monster racers. Subscribe and we'll see you next time on races and fun. Also hit that notification bell. I never mentioned that, but you should I mean that's gonna tell you when we post a video, it's more convenient. Um so do so do that too. I don't usually throw that out there. Notification bell, it's right by the subscribe button or whatnot.